manufacturer has found that his price demand function is p of x equal to 1600 minus 40x. So what we're going to do is we're going to find his revenue function. Revenue can be found by multiplying price times the number of units that you sell. So in this case, we're going to have R of X equal to 1600 minus 40X times X. If we multiply that out, we're going to have 1600X minus 40X squared. Now this is going to make a parabola when we graph it. Um, it might be nice to go ahead and write these terms in order, minus 40x squared plus 1600x. And then remember that the x-coordinate of a vertex or a parabola can be found by using the formula minus b over 2a and then plugging whatever you get for x back into the function. So here we have a is minus 40 and b is 1600. So we have minus 1600 over 2 times minus 40. So we have minus 1600 over minus 80. Negatives will cross out. We'll be able to cross out a 10 automatically. And we'll find then that 160 divided by 8 is going to be 20. So the x coordinate of the vertex is 20. Now all we need to do is plug 20 into the function, and we're going to have 1600 minus 40 times 20 times 20. And this will give us, on the inside, we have 1600 minus 800, so 800 times 20 is going to give us 16 and 3 zeros. So the location of the vertex then is going to be at an x coordinate of 20 and a y coordinate of 16,000. So we can put that on a graph. We have x is 20. And the y coordinate is 16,000. And then we realize that if we were to put 0 in for x here, we'd get 0 for y. And we know from symmetry of a parabola that we're going to have another 0, the same distance on the other side of the x coordinate of the vertex. So here then is our revenue function. Now we can graph the cost function. It has a y-intercept of 6,000 and a slope of 200. Now what would be interesting would be where these two graphs might cross. We can go ahead and put a y-intercept of 6,000, but it might be nice to know, you know, where are we going to put a dot over here that would cross maybe this, this graph. And we can do that easily enough just by setting these two things equal to each other, where our revenue and cost equal to each other. So we'll have minus 40x squared plus 1600x equal to 200x plus 6,000. And we can move over everything over to one side so that we get a quadratic equation. So we'll have 40x squared minus 1400x plus 6,000 equals zero. Now we can factor a 20 out of everything 
and we'll have 20 times 2 x squared minus 70 x plus 300 equals 0. And it turns out that we could take the other 2 out also. So we'll have 40 times x squared minus 35x plus 150 equals 0. Now the job would be to factor x squared minus 35x plus 150. So we need to think of two things that multiply together to give us 150 and add together to give us 35. 